today I have a combined reading and travel vlog for you. I am going to be reviewing The Night She Disappeared by Lisa Jewell whilst travelling on a flight from Denver to London Heathrow. The next day is the 23rd of July and that means that um, The Night She Disappeared has just hit my order book. We are on a flight from Denver to Atlanta right now. So it's the perfect time to start a new Lisa Jewell book. So I was listening to the audiobook and as it was getting more and more action packed I was speeding it up. So first flight is done, I'm currently getting some food and drink and then the second flight is in a couple of hours. I may do some more listening between flights otherwise I'll see you on the next flight. I so far am suspicious of multiple people and I also am suspicious that everyone is sharing their correct identity. Um, there's also been like a couple of like dripping hints of like oh this might be a thing but we're not going to give you any more information about it. This might be a thing but we're not going to give you any more information about it. And it's like my favourite thing of like switching back and forth between perspectives and time just as we're getting into something like uh but yeah that made that flight go so quickly it's like a three hour flight and i was like oh we just hit the ground oh wow okay um so yes the night she disappeared let's uh, continue so we're on to the next flight now and um, I've got about an hour and three quarters left. So we're gonna start off listening and I will uh, update you. And flight the vest by pulling down on the red tab at the bottom of the vest by manually inflating by blowing into the tube at shoulder level. So I made it, I made it back. I'd heard some horror stories about Heathrow, but honestly, Terminal 3 was quieter than I'd ever seen it. The automatic passport barrier things were still working. The only thing was, as well as having to take my glasses off, I had to take my mask off. So it was like, how many hands do I need here? Need to be an octopus, but I'm back, I'm here. There are books here. There were not books where I left, so that's cool. Okay, uh, the night she disappeared. The first thing I really love about this is that Lisa Jewell has done that thing that many authors shy away from in that she has included sort of newer careers in her book. So we have um, Instagram being, mes uh, being mentioned, we have uh, travel vloggers and travel bloggers being mentioned and she hasn't kind of shied away from using that new media and including that as part of the storyline. I absolutely love that. The other thing that not a lot of people are doing in mainstream adult fiction right now, whether that's thrillers, women's fiction, rom-coms, crime or what have you, is include um, characters who represent anywhere on the LGBTQIA plus spectrum. Um, we have characters who are not straight here, we have characters who are undecided in this book and whilst that's not necessarily any spoiler towards the plot, I just love, love, love that. So that's two big brave choices. It, it, these shouldn't be brave choices but I feel like they're brave choices because not a lot of other authors are doing them that have been made in this book. Um, as usual, what we come to expect with a Lisa Jewell novel is that we get all these intricate details, tons and tons of intricate details sprinkled throughout the book. We get drip fed information and those intricate details, that intricate description of a a uh, particular area of somebody's house or a particular fear that somebody has or a particular event that happened to somebody in their past, those things will then be brought up again later in the book. I don't know how she does it. I am just in awe always of how she kind of weaves all these details together to form this book where you're like, what's going to happen next? Um, 
I would say that this one didn't necessarily feel as dark as the previous two books but I'm not complaining about that because what I love about a Lisa Jewell novel is the information that she gives you and the level of detail that she gives you even with the rom-coms that I read um, last year as part of my must read <laughs> all the Lisa Jewell back catalogue that I hadn't read the level of detail there is just so impressive and as a reader I just appreciate that level of detail you know these things that you would know about a friend a friend that you've had for a long time you get to know these things about these characters and so you feel like you have spent the book with a friend you've made these friends so you care about what happens to them whether that's whether they get together with someone or whether that's whether they live or die um, you care about what happens to someone and so the level of detail in this one is definitely great um, as I say definitely less dark than the last couple but I liked that this one had a little bit more of a what's going on here who's that why did that happen? What about this? What's going to happen there? And you know, the night she disappeared, where did she go? What happened to her? That's what I want to care about. Um, I like the fact that we've got a young mum in this story as well. I, th I feel like um, in this book, it's just so well-rounded and so true to life. You care about these people like you're their friends. And then the level of detail that you know about them and the way that they slot into what could be your life, what could be your friend's life. You just, it's just so true to life. You care about them. You want to know what's going to happen. Um, I will say uh, in terms of, this is the first of Lisa's darker novels that I've done on audio. Normally I read her thrillers as ebooks or physical books and this was the first one I did on audio just out of the necessity of my circumstances I had pre-ordered the audio and so I decided just to I was given a copy from NetGalley but I decided I decided on this concept of a vlog beforehand I will say because this one has um dual narrative and dual timeline well multiple narrative and multiple timeline I will say sometimes I missed when we changed from one time to the other I think that would have been better to um, make sure that you had your attention on that if it was an ebook or a physical book I feel like there are some parts where I was like hang on I'm just going to go back to the beginning of this chapter again because I didn't pay attention to the fact that we changed timeline um, but again that's the circumstances of me reading this on a plane as well um, and reading this whilst slightly jet lagged as well um, but yeah overall this is another great read I did like the fact that it was just a little bit less dark I loved the structure I loved the characters but the thing that I loved the most were those kind of bolder choices that were made um, in terms of the author choosing to put in social media into her book I like when that happens. I know that a lot of publishers ask authors to stay away from it because it dates their book, for, but for me, having the book be dated in that way, I really enjoy. I enjoy looking back on, you know, novels where characters are like, oh yeah, I've got my Nokia 3330. Um, I like looking back where characters are waiting for dial-up to come up or they're in an MSN chat room. Like, that's great. That puts me straight away in that character's position and so I love the choices. Um, I do hope you've enjoyed this format of video. It's a little bit different, slightly different out of necessity but yes um, in case you missed my video about like what I'm doing here, why I have this different background, um, I will leave that linked in the end screen and I will also leave my Lisa Jewel playlist linked in the end screen. Do make sure you are subscribed so that you do not miss out on future bookish content from me and I will have another movie review coming for you this weekend so hit that notification bell so that you don't miss out. If you enjoyed this video give it a thumbs up and uh, yes I will see you with another video next week. Thank you for watching.